let's talk about portfolio, especially for those who are starting in crypto in September 2024. In my personal opinion, not financial advice, this is the last period of time where you can start to initiate a little bit of positions if you have zero crypto at all or build appropriately certain bags for the real exponential phase of the bull market until three quarters of 2025. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of my portfolio, how it's set up, why it's set up like that, but I'll focus here on the DJ plays a lot more than the other parts of my portfolio. So let's start with the big position, the dominant position in every crypto portfolio should be Bitcoin. This is the safest one. This is the rarest one. This is the more important one. This is the one that you need absolutely to have in your portfolio. You need to decide what type of proportions you want to have. But in my portfolio, Bitcoin is 55% of my whole portfolio. Second position, and this is a little trick when it comes to building portfolios, investing portfolios. This is my main portfolio for investing. So I have 17% of my portfolio in the stock of Tesla, who has nothing to do with crypto, even though Tesla has a position in Bitcoin, they have Bitcoin in their balance sheet. But I wanted to have something else in my portfolio that has nothing to do technically with crypto, but it still is a degen play. It's still disruptive. And it's a company who's dominating and is extremely profitable. That's why second position is Tesla. Third position, and this might surprise a few people, it's 15% of my portfolio, and that is Solana. Why Solana? Because I think Solana will do exactly what Ethereum has done or did in the previous bull run. It's a highly competitive coin towards Ethereum. I believe Solana could be half of Ethereum or even more in terms of market cap. It's going to catch up. It's way more active. It's faster. We just heard yesterday that Fire Dancer is live on Solana, therefore less risky for shutdowns of the blockchain. It's going to increase decentralization. So there's a lot of moving pieces on Solana. It's a top five coin right now, but it will grow extremely well. It's the fastest blockchain, so that helps also with adoption and it's one of the cheapest ones so that helps too so position number one bitcoin 55 percent uh, tesla 17 percent solana 15 percent and the remaining positions i have five percent in altcoins and nine percent in memes so this is more my degen type of situation so let's start with altcoins and we'll finish with memes so in all coins, I have quite a big position in Kronos, simply because I use a lot crypto.com and the card and I accumulate a lot of Kronos to my, through my constant buying of things with the card. Therefore, I have had accumulated quite a bit of coins and I also stake, so I have quite a bit of coins through that system also. Link in below if you want, or if you haven't opened an account in an exchange. Crypto.com is my favorite one because it sustained all the Terra Luna and the big crash without any issues. It's the one I trust the most. I also have a Coinbase account, so these are the only two accounts that I have related to crypto. Altcoin. So the first one is Kronos. The second one in size is Jupiter, which is a coin in the Solana 
ecosystem, again, with tons of activity, adoption. It's being used extremely well. It's a next generation DEX. Therefore, it's for exchanges, for buying and selling. And it's one of the coins that has contributed to the whole activity of the Solana blockchain. After that, I have Ethereum. I have a small position in Ethereum that I also stake in Coinbase and stake in Crypto.com, the Crypto.com app. For Solana, I stake also in the Crypto.com app and in Coinbase. For Bitcoin, I stake in the Crypto.com app. You cannot do it in Coinbase. So that's the staking information that I can share with you. Second to last altcoin that I have is SUI, which I'm trying to add a little bit here in September and October to see if I can grow a little bit that position. I have just recently started uh, buying SUI, which many people are thinking is the Solana killer. So just in case, you know, it's an extremely quick and cheap blockchain also. So quick and cheap are very attractive for crypto. Therefore, I started to put an allocation into SUI just recently. And the last coin, it's because I'm mining Dogecoin. I also get Litecoin as rewards. So I have a little, little, little position in Litecoin. That covers the altcoin part of the portfolio. And that's like indicated 5% of my portfolio. Let's finish off with the memes. And the memes, I have one huge position and the other ones are pretty much similar, I would say in size. So the first one that I have a lot of conviction in is Milady Meme Coin, which is an NFT project and also meme type of uh, coin. So that's probably twice as big as the other position in the memes that I have. So first, Milady Meme Coin. My second position is Shiba Inu, one of the originals of meme coins after Doge. So therefore, there's a lot of trading and a lot of activity on SHIB. The third one is Doge. Like I indicated, I'm mining Doge. So I get Doge rewards regularly. That's how I have built that position in Dogecoin. I have Whiff, Dog Whiff Hat, Pepe, Floki, and Bonk, which is another meme coin from Solana. And that equates to approximately 9% of my portfolio. So if you want to have an idea for how to distribute or how to buy your items, so $55 of Bitcoin, $17 of Tesla, $15 of Solana, $5 in altcoins, and $9 in memes. That's how I set up my portfolio. And you have to keep in mind that a big portion of the portfolio is in Bitcoin, number one coin in the world, Solana, number five coin in the world, and then Tesla, which has nothing to do with crypto. That's how I de-risk my portfolio. And then out of the top 10, I only have uh, Dogecoin and Ethereum, and that's pretty much it up to the position number 14. The other ones are further down the market cap size. So I hope to give you an idea of how to distribute your portfolio. In my case, there's two positions that I want to increase. I regularly buy Bitcoin on a regular basis, so that will probably not stop. So every month I add Bitcoin to my position, even if it's small increments. But the two altcoins, if you want, that I want to grow a little more still before the end of the year is Solana and SUI. These are going to be the main focus. So the three coins that probably I will buy up until 
maybe the end of the year, Bitcoin, Solana, and Sui. Those are the only ones. The other ones are set, and I'm not going to buy more for this upcoming bull run. And we'll see what we do and how we detect the top of this cycle and how we maximize our profits. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you take notes. Watch again the video. Take notes of the proportions. It's not financial advice, but it's going to give you an idea of the conviction assets that I have and also the proportions so that you don't end up buying a bunch of coins that have very little potential, extremely high risk. And my goal is to, yes, take a risk with my altcoin bag and my memes bag. So that's 14% of my portfolio. The other part of the portfolio, then I'm pretty sure in the end of 2025, they will be higher. How high they will go, I cannot tell you, but they will be higher. And therefore, the probability of having profits with this type of portfolio are extremely high in crypto. So we're talking multiple Xs in my opinion, but I'm a long-term investor, so it's very difficult for me to do predictions. It can vary from week to week, but at the end of 2025, it's going to be much higher. And that's how you need to approach investing in crypto. I trade the less that I can, and usually I buy, 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 and I haven't sold big portions. I've never sold Bitcoin, actually. Never sold Solana, only sold Ethereum. So there's a, a long-term perspective that I have to build positions, wait until I get the exponential gains, and then decide how much I'm going to take as profits for accumulating cash for the next cycle. That's the whole purpose. So I hope you learned something today. This is an example of how to distribute your portfolio. You can increase a little bit the degen part if you want to take a lot more risk, but I would highly stop you if I can from increasing that significantly just to make sure that your first things experience, especially if you're starting in crypto, ends up at the end of 2025 with profits.